Amanda, we're here. We're in the police museum and we're all locked up. We gotta get out of here so we can go to the Parkinson's Foundation. Well, it's a special event tonight. I understand they're honoring, well, the grantees, well, here in the city of LA, that make a difference for a community. And for people who have Parkinson's, they're making a ton of difference. They are, and we're here at the police museum, and well, they locked us up for a little bit, but I hope they're gonna let us out. They said they'd unlock it. Let's break out. Let's do it, come on. Well, Lori, Megan, what an awesome day today is. Well, we're here. We're here at the LA Police Museum, right in the heart of LA. Thank you so much, well, for inviting us to, to be with you at this very special event. And, uh, well, if I may, Megan, Lori, share with me if I can ask, how did you get involved, well, with the Parkinson's disease, Lori? Well, we're here today because um, for 30 years, I served as a police officer and I'm now retired. My daughter, Megan, was two <laughs> years old when I became a police officer and it was my father who used to take care of her for me. And when my dad was about 67 years old, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And so it's my passion um, and an honor to bring the museum together with the Parkinson's Foundation because foundations like the Parkinson's Foundation just so much for people with Parkinson's from early diagnosis, you know, through their journey. And it led my daughter, Megan, into wanting to be the doctor. She is a clinical psychologist to help people navigate their journey. And so Parkinson's is near and dear to our heart. So the things that we do as a family continue his legacy. If I can add one thing, Please. oftentimes people go to my mom when they need a pep talk, when they're feeling down, when they feel hopeless, and she has this impeccable ability to really inspire people and make them feel hopeful and have them work hard and not give up and have that intestinal fortitude to know that tomorrow will be better. Well, this is amazing. This event is spectacular. You're spectacular. Thank you so much, Lori. Thank you so much, Megan, well, for sharing all of this with us today. I'm here with Alexis Rodriguez, and she's the Western Regional Director of the Parkinson's Foundation. And we're here tonight at the community uh, event, which is really promoting some of the upcoming events you guys have, right? Absolutely. This is one of our first community events in LA, and I'm so excited to be here tonight. Tell us a little bit about what the foundation does for the community. Yeah, so the Parkinson's Foundation, um, our goal is to really make life better for people living with Parkinson's and their care partners. And at the same time, we really work hard to advance research. Okay, fantastic. So there's also some community support groups as well that work with you, correct? Yes, so our foundation um, grants about $2 million a year to local organizations across the country. And in the West region, we are currently funding 30 community grant recipients. Um, and tonight we have four of them here from LA. Tell us, this event tonight, how do people find out more about Parkinson's and how they can help support you? Yeah, they can go to our website, parkinson.org, and they can find out all of our resources, including our education events that we have locally in the community. We also have moving day events, um, which is our 5K walks. And we have a ton of resources, education, and a helpline there for people um, who need um, just information about Parkinson's disease. Perfect. Thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, thank you. Melinda, well, this was so much fun. We've had so many people getting the chance to know them better, getting a chance to know what the foundation's doing, and we got to do it right here. We're at the LA Police Museum, and heck, I got part of my outfit ready to go. And you look great. Oh, I feel great. Thank you so much for bringing all of us today, well, to this awareness. Absolutely, thank you. And thank you, if you guys wanna learn anything more about the Parkinson's Foundation or get involved yourself, feel free to check out their websites. Until next time, American Dream TV, we'll see you then. Bye.